Hi, I'm Madeline Kennedy with Artist Master Secrets. I'm one of the Sistar artists and today I'm going to be talking to you about doing a watercolor painting. First I want to explain a little bit about this paper. This is Fabriano Artistico paper. 300 pound weight. It's a quarter sheet and this paper is fantastic. I love this paper it is smooth, it is durable, it has a beautiful uh, velvety type finish on it. The water colors, when you put them on here, just glow and have such pretty color luminosity that this is my favorite paper to work with. So that being said, I want to discuss what the image is on here. As you can see, I'm started a drawing. The drawing is of this photo that I have taken. This is a little cobalt blue vase of mine with a hydrangea in it. I took this image and printed it off on the computer in a monochromatic look so that I would not have a bunch of color. I'm a colorist and my, uh, my painting will eventually have all the color beauty in it. But when I'm getting it drawn down to the watercolor paper, I only need to see all the light, dark, and midtone shapes in this paint, in this drawing. When I do it this way, it helps me to go and pick out exactly where the dark shapes are, where the midtone shapes are, and where I'm going to leave the lights. So as you can see, I've started this little drawing and it's coming along pretty well. I've got some of the mid-tones, some of the lights, some of the darks. I've got a little piece of the leaf in here so far with its little curly cue on the end. Still going to work on the hydrangea back here. I need to shape it up quite a bit more. And then I have a decision to make. In the photograph that I took, there's a background image of a chair. So I have suggested it in my drawing, but I need to decide as I work this along if I'm actually going to leave this little chair in here or take it out. Um, that's something I'll come up with as the painting evolves because this is very realistic and very detailed, which is opposite of how I normally paint because I like impressionistic and spontaneous. So I leave me room to do what I feel like I want to do around anything that is realistic. So as this progresses we will continue to show you how it changes and when we get into all the beautiful colors that we'll start laying in there I'll go over that in a complete lesson of itself. So for now, this is what we need to do. I want to impress upon you at this stage in your drawing, it's very important to get enough of the lights and enough of the darks in here so that you have, I guess you'd say a blueprint, if you may, of where to follow when you start to come here with your warm and your cool underpainting and overpainting of colors. So I hope you've enjoyed this much of the little lesson. And I will continue as we, as this painting continues. So, talk to you soon.